Americans are running out of time to early vote in the 2024 presidential primaries. And tonight, there's a new push to get voters out to the polls during the last weekend of early voting. A group of low-income workers gathered outside of the state capitol tonight, demanding action from lawmakers and encouraging people to get out to the polls. Atlanta News First, Bridget Spencer has more details. Rise up, we're gonna rise up. If you were downtown Saturday morning, you likely heard echoes coming from the coalition called Georgia Poor People's Campaign. And it's gone on far too long. The group of lower wage workers, faith leaders, and activists met to march to the Capitol, demanding lawmakers prioritize policies that can make life easier for low income earners. There are way more people who are working, they're low wage, earning less than the, uh, the living wage. They're barely surviving in a lot of cases, and we know we can do better. In addition, during this early voting period in the primaries, they're launching their 40 Days of Action campaign. It's an effort to mobilize voters ahead of the November election. And this is just the beginning. We're going to kick off 40 Days of Action. We're going to get people mobilized to the polls. The effort comes as presidential candidates on both sides of the aisle are making big campaign pushes as the clock ticks closer to primary election day in Georgia. First Lady Jill Biden making a stop in Atlanta Friday and former President Donald Trump making a stop in North Carolina Saturday. President Biden is defending reproductive rights, fighting for a national law that would restore Roe's protections. His plan would totally demolish Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, health care and all public education. It's a disaster what he he's taking this country down. The Georgia Poor People's Campaign was not the only group assembling. Several other chapters across different states participated also Saturday, outlining their efforts to get out the vote. 